and this is Ivana coming to you from my house. I hope that you've been enjoying our YouTube videos and stay tuned um, next Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. for all our new content that we'll be putting out. Um, if you have anything that you want us to do at home or any ideas of something that we should do, please comment and let us know so that way we can even we can try to do those things. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to create a bowling alley at home. Now I know most of us don't have bowling pins or even a bowling ball at home. I know I don't. And so I had to get creative with this. And I had to get creative with things that I have here that I don't have to go out and purchase. And um, the way that I made my bowling set today was by using empty water bottles as my bowling pins. Um, usually bowling requires 10 bowling pins so I'm going to be using 10 empty water bottles. You can use different containers that um, are empty at your house like juice containers, um, cans, empty cans, anything that you've seen your parents put in the recycle you might be able to get out. Um, if you fill these with water, which you can, um, you have to make sure that you have a heavy enough ball, like a rubber ball or something, to knock them down. I prefer mine empty because I don't really have anything to knock these down that's heavy, so mine are going to stay empty. But if you do fill them, you have to fill all the water bottles with the same amount of water. That way it's fair and all of them can knock down evenly. And, you know, you don't have to struggle too much. I had, fortunately, one type of ball. I had this little mini football. Um, that I won somewhere and I said hey this is kind of a cool thing that I can use but if I didn't have this and I'm actually going to try my other um, ball over here I made a foil ball that you know empty water bottles are pretty um, uh, they're pretty light so I can knock this down um, and then if you want to label your water bottles you can label them with this um, and so we're going to put the instructions for bowling at the end and you can follow the instructions. You can create your own game because that's what I'm going to do. But basically you knock all pins down. That's a strike. And if you knock uh, all the pins down on your second turn, then that is a spare. Um, but we'll put some more rules at the end so that you can know how to play. So now follow me because we're about to go create our bowling alley at home. Yay! All right, so now we have our bowling pins in play. I have a little map there that I'm gonna use as my guide. And I made my foil ball a little bit bigger. So just so you know, when you're going to throw this, it's gonna be more of a little toss than it rolls because in bowling you have a smoother ball than my foil ball. All right, so we're gonna get this started. Hopefully I knock them all down. Okay, I wanna strike. strike hopefully you try this at home and make sure that you check out our new videos on monday through friday posted at four mm -hmm. 